Hey Star Wars Collectors, it's TCG here again. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, Bosk, the Bounty Hunter, uh, in this video. I have a couple in my collection. Um, this particular one is the uh, original uh, 1980 Kenner. Just have a look on the back there at his zoom in. We should be able to see. And this particular one is LFL 1980 Hong Kong country of origin yeah so that's the original one love this figure <laughs> now you can actually get quite a few variants on this uh, the most expensive one and rarest one being the toxic limbs uh, but this particular one has got like dark, shiny arms and scales uh, and on his feet. Uh, love his face. Boss the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, absolutely cracking figure. And uh, good to have him as part of my collection. Now... While Kenner was still going, um, 1995 I think it was, the power of the force, and he brought out this guy. And, you know, the detail on this guy is a lot different, sorry, I just moved this gun, trying to get this gun correct. Yeah, well, there we go. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, the joys of playing with toys. Anyway, yeah, so this is Bosk again, but this is the Power of the Force 2 line by Kenner. This is the loose figure. Cracking figure. Love this one. A lot more detail. As you can see, it's flight suit. Not much difference to the original Kenner one, but the figure himself, you know, slightly updated, but uh, still looks really good. And uh, still a great figure. And also, I have him here, still on the card. This is a tri logo. Star Wars comes with blaster and pistol, Bosk, Kenner. This is the green, green version. I think it might be 96, 97, this one. Uh, I think it was 95 was the red ones. But uh, yeah, on the back, there's a bit of detail about him. Height 1.9 meters, status bounty hunter, classification, Trandoshan, affiliation freelance, weapon of choice, blaster rifle. Uh, also, as well in the line, as you can see there, you've got Han Solo in Carbonite, Luke Jedi Knight, Yoda, TIE Fighter Pilot, Leah Bush, the Emperor. Tuscan Raider and Luke in Hoth gear. Yeah. This will be staying on the card, yeah. To display with all my other uh, carded items that I have. But yeah, once again, lovely item. And that's the last time, really, Kenner produced uh, before Asbro taken over. Now, anyway, I've got a nice little item here, and this is uh, this is a bootleg. This is a Russian bootleg by a company called Oritet, and again, this was late nineties, earlier early two thousands. Uh, 
and it's an absolutely shocking pink. But I absolutely love this figure. I really do. Uh, if I just compare at the side with the other figure, the original figure, if we can get his, his blaster back on and all my set is falling apart. But that's the great stuff about filming. So yeah, so here's the two together as a comparison. If he'll stand, he will. And uh, yeah. Uh, these, are, you can still get, actually get these. Uh, still available online. Pay about $20 which is around about 16, 17 pounds. Uh, there are some rare versions. I know if you click over to uh, uh, Action Figure Grader's uh, channel, he has all three. Uh, I think there's definitely, there's a pink one, which is this one. Uh, I think there's a, a green one. And I'm not 100% sure about the other, but if you click over to his, his channel, uh, he's the master of uh, bootlegs. Uh, in actual fact, that's exactly why I went out and bought this guy. Uh, and I think at some point I am going to get him graded. Oh, sorry, Bosk. Maybe I'll grade you as well. We'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, there we have it. This is some of my Boss collection. 1980. Kenner, original release. Still Kenner, 1996-97. On the card, tri-logo. Russian bootleg from Oritet. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on another one. Cheers, guys. See you soon.